And can you hear it too? No? Yes, and that's what makes me nervous. Do you hear nothing but silence? This is probably the first map ever where I prefer the wavetable synthesizer over the OPL output. That's the only way for the dark drone to fully develop its eerie feeling, especially when wearing a headset and when playing at night in the dark. This map profits massively from the great light sourcing effects we know from the PlayStation part of Doom. Together with the OpenGL ambient lights, it turns out to be a great design in the visual department. The audio, well, we have a replacement of all the standard sounds, but they also go well with the overall theme of the map, and the default Doom audio would probably not work as well as these sounds, as overused as they might be nowadays. As you can see, there's plenty to stuff to pick up. A bunch of medikits, a good amount of stim packs, boxes with bullets and shotgun shells are surrounding this castle-like building or house or whatever that thing in the middle of the map is supposed to be. I'm usually the guy who likes to be well stocked with ammo and health, but that is too much, even for me. Right now I'm on Hurt Me Plenty only, maybe on the other difficulty settings these items might be useful, but here and now even a mediocre player like me can get through these fights without starting to sweat. Maybe I'm talking too early, but we will see later, maybe other parts of the map are more difficult. I don't know who these black mofos are, but they are tougher than the regular imp, I can tell. And to be honest, I don't want to find out if their attack hurt. The catacombs are full with weird creatures and normal imps are the least exotic ones. Be prepared to meet the entire imp family, I call them the impsons, with their different colors and, most important, different speed their projectiles travel. Of course, we also have the obligatory spectre fights. The map might be called dark, and in fact the sun is not quite shining here, but still it is way too easy to make them out and fist them if you wish to do so. But make sure to pick up the Berserk pack before, it can be easily overseen in the main room. I always have the feeling of missing secrets. I don't know why, because it looks like some of these door, uh, walls might open or something, or these columns might lower, but this map doesn't seem to have any secrets at all. Now it's not quite Doom-like, but <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> These pillars are making me pretty anxious. Too many doom guys fell in ambushes started by pillars suddenly lowering and releasing a horde of enemies. Mm. 
Ow, you sneaky bastard! He just sneaked up on me. What the hell? Ah, uh, well, shit, I was right. Okay. Eat this! And that! But that's the one and only trap in the entire level. Oh my gosh! Look at all these unneeded ammo packs here. I expected some cool fight to start with all these medikits and stuff, but no, it's just... No, it's nothing. There's nothing to fight in here. What was this guy thinking when he placed these? I really just can assume there is more stuff going on and... I don't know, ultra violence, but here this is just ridiculous. There's like five times as much as ammo in this map as you actually need. Oh, a rocket launcher and millions of rockets. But I wonder who we are going to fight. What the... Ah. Oh, well, I think we have the key, so we really don't need to fight him, do we? Let's just sprint back to the house and see, because I'm pretty sure we don't need to, to fight this guy. What? That's it? That was it? Okay, this was the map, ladies and gentlemen. This was a very abrupt ending. <laughs> well, I'm a bit speechless here because we just skipped basically an entire part of the game. I think this is supposed to be some sort of end boss. But no, we just could walk past him. Who gives a damn about the cyber demon, right? Oh my. This map has been created in November of 2013 and that's how it looks and feels. Great. The outstanding impressions of the sound and visuals really make the feeling for me. The overall mapping is almost perfect and a good do map without switch hunting, just like back in the days. However, it is way too easy. I just checked it in Doom Builder, there are no additional enemies in other skill levels. So you have them, put them in by yourself, and then you have a great map. And that's not a good solution. Overall, this guy did this good looking thing in one day. Wow. But still, that doesn't change the fact that, that a map where I can simply walk by the end boss is still a bad map. I give it 3 stars out of 5 for the great atmosphere. Any lower or higher rating would be wrong. And I think that's a pity because it could have been a very very great map. <laughs>